every single office has been ransacked. Everything of value has been destroyed. Some cultural items are missing. Um, others were, were destroyed. The Bear Clan Patrol trying to save what's left of artifacts, paintings, and just important items from the Indian and Métis Friendship Centre after it was ransacked over what they say was a few weeks. On Friday night, Susan Chief was one of the first to notice the door to the centre pried open. We came in and noticed all this disaster. The door was frozen over along with a lot of the floor. Every room City News entered appeared to be trashed. A crowbar was sticking out of the ATM. Cameras and lights were taken out of the ceiling and the small amount of copper piping behind the toilets, gone. But for Chief, it was the missing ceremonial pipes that broke her heart. It's sad. <laughs> it's, uh, <clears throat> I used to come here when I was a kid and all the stuff that they have for the community and now it's just all gone. That's the sad part. It's like I didn't even, I barely slept last night just thinking of, worried about all this stuff, the artifacts. Bear Clan Patrol leader James Favel believes the last time the center was supposed to hold an event was this past October. Favel says when people arrived, the doors to the center were locked. He says the public hasn't used the building since, but after finding mattresses, food, and candles among the debris, he believes people have been living there for a number of weeks. This is a, a blow to our community. I mean, already we've been suffering because we haven't had access to this. There was all kinds of programming run out of here, food banks run out of here, training, like education. Just, uh, the Kukums had a sewing uh, group here and things like that. And my heart is broken. I mean, yeah, it's awful. It's a shame. You know, again, uh, how could someone destroy something that benefited so many for such small gains? It's absurd. Heartbreaking. I remember being here for so many different events. I see it like this now, it's awful. Winnipeg police went to the center Friday night, although were unavailable for comment Saturday. City News also reached out to the National Association of Friendship Centers, but have yet to hear back. Favel says if the center was being used more often, he doesn't believe this would have ever happened. If they're not responsible for it directly, they are responsible for it vicariously by leaving in a state where this is possible. Right now, the Wall of Honor still stands, an important item the Bear Clan was able to save. Favel isn't sure the building will survive as there is mold in a lot of the rooms. As for now, Favel says his team is saving as much as they can over the coming days. City News will continue to follow this story as it unfolds. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.